YouTube, family, friends, and subscribers. This is that um, little battery charger we built up at the shop. The challenge was to build it in less than two hours without welding with things I had on the shelf. And it was really a lot of fun. It was quite a hustle to put it together, but it's, it works beautifully and I use it all the time. If I have a dead battery on the tractor or one of the cars, or if I need to quick charge one of the RV batteries for one of the trailers, I just grab this thing. And uh, it's a 2.2 horsepower flathead Honda and it's a 55 amp a Suzuki Samurai alternator that I had two of them sitting on the shelf and just packed a set of jumper cables and uh, it works really really good so I had a friend ask how many horsepower does it take for how many amps well if my battery was at 50% or lower that would be calling for the full 55 amps and it would take all of the 2.2 horsepower because I've done it and I have to run the throttle all the way up and let it run at 3600 and then it's loaded and you see the throttle arm on the carburetor is wide open but within 10 minutes it starts throttling down and I can see the throttle arm uh, closing more and more it's really easy to tell from inside the house when the battery's charged because I can hear the generators no longer straining and then I come out and look at the throttle arm the throttle arm almost all the way over on the stop then I know the motor's not working at all the battery must be charged then I turn it off and check the voltage and sure enough the battery's fully charged let's look at it right now so it's set point at this stage is 14.2 we turn the alternator off you'll hear the motor speed up and now it's not loaded and you can see Throttle arm is almost closed. My voltage at rest is 13.0. So I'm going to leave it on a while until I see that throttle arm close and then I know the battery has gone through its acceptance and it's fully charged. You can see it's open again. So it's only on, been on here for maybe 10 minutes. Just showing you guys what you can do for cheap. Uh, I traded a, some exercise equipment, a bench press thing that one of my kids didn't want anymore for the Honda engine, and it was brand new on an old edger down at a pawn shop. And he wanted the weight set, and I wanted the motor. And I had everything else. So you can build stuff. It's pretty cheap. Just look, look around at garage sales and stuff and Craigslist. And uh, get online, research how to wire stuff, and uh, you can you could actually be off good with this. If I had like four of those 110 amp hour deep cycle batteries and a 12 volt inverter, which is how I started out, you could live on on just this setup right here. All right, have a very blessed day.